Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to We All Suck at Starcraft 2. My name is Killjoy and this is Starcraft 2. So like our previous series where we were playing Starcraft and now we're playing Starcraft 2. So basically I'm bringing you a game today uh, which is played by this man here Mr. Fruit Sammer in the top and by this man here Mr. Hybrid Toy. So this particular match I was not playing, I was observing and sitting out of it, but we're going to watch today a match between Mark and Dave, both playing Terran. So, Starcraft 2 has some different mechanics to the first game, it's going to be a lot quicker. If you've seen our Long Road to GM videos, you'll have some kind of idea of how the game plays on the channel, so let's just get into it, I suppose. So yeah, as you can see here, Mr. Fruity there going for supply depot barracks the same here can be said for mr mark going for that thing if we go on to yep that's the wrong button if we go on to production we can see what they're getting for ee sorry mr mark here going for the double refinery so from the barracks into the double refinery probably looking for some kind of gas heavy opening and here we have for ee deciding to b block off his ramp obviously if you look at the map here you this is a 3v3 map I believe you do have a fairly big ramp here to block off so this is not the most ideal thing for Terran um, you'll see that he'll go for a double barracks and a bunker and air blocks off quite nicely but also allows him to get out the sides with the supply depots so what we're going to see is two very different builds I think from this you'll see uh, Fruity expanding a lot sooner this is Terran is not his main race um, Mark plays Terran primarily at the moment My, I myself pretty much only play Terran but we're going to see Fruity, who plays random a lot in this game, is going to play Terran. Probably one of his weaker races in terms of uh, how much better he is with Protoss and Zerg. And we're going to see anyway, we've got his Marine out. We see that we've got a Marine popping out here for Mark as well. Going, d building plenty of uh, Marines here. You'll notice that maybe he's a little bit late on his reactors and tech labs on his barracks. Though you will see them come down when he gets Marauders and stuff like that. And we can see there the minerals and stuff that Mark has versus the minerals that Free has. Let's bear in mind also these games that you're going to see, the starting games you're going to see in this series, Mark's only just started jumping into StarCraft 2. It's not like the first game, you know, he's still learning. So you'll see some, uh, some of those skills come over. And you're just going to see some of the things that make this game a bit easier that me and Free are better at. So we go, you can see here, going for the supply depots, plonking them there down behind his base. Not got maxing out his gas, guys, is there. Maybe better off building one and shoving in three dudes just to get the maximum efficiency. Also got, is that 19 of 16? Yep, 19 of 16 on there. He has now expanded. You can see there's an expand going down. We see that they actually expand at a very similar time. Um, as you'll see, expanding forward here for Mark rather than going choosing for the base either left or right side. And for Dave here, expanding there to the what would be his left of his base and his right for us. Going one reactor, one tech lab on both his barracks, getting a factory there. I think we see a uh, starport come down fairly shortly. What have we got going on over here? We have Marauder now popping out for Mark, and he has now got a reactor and a tech lab on his buildings, which is good to see. Building an engineering bay for those upgrades, and also for turrets if you need to get them. Seeing expand almost done there for both of them. There's a starport coming down now, double eBay for Fruity. Going for the double upgrades, going for like the 1 1 push, most likely. Are we seeing a the stim coming down, we see that combat shield is currently being made for Fruity, and we'll see plus one has already started for Mark, which is uh, pretty efficient actually, that's fairly quick that he's got that. But only with the one one engineering bay, he does actually queue stuff up, which is a bit un unfortunate. Not building any more uh, SEVs here currently. A couple of guys still around there, as you can see. Got a few decent marauders, if we look at the units, you actually see that uh, Mark has a better army in terms of the amount of uh, marines. He's got a few marines here, a few marines there, and he's got these marauders. Doesn't I don't know which upgrades he gets in this. Building a factory here soon. There it is. It's gone down. This is now up and running. Needs to learn how to use the orbital commands. So I feel like the next time you see him in the later games that we play, you'll see that improvement coming. See, Fruit's got the orbital command there, getting some queuing up the SEVs. Shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> 
Going for the reactor, more, more than likely going for Metal Axe, which he does. Going for the double upgrades, getting 1-1 one, one there. Nothing coming out of here currently, but I think we see siege tanks. Or it might be Hellions that come out, I can't remember. Not getting Stim or Concussive Shell yet. Probably realising this bunker, you know, a bit unnecessary, considering how unaggressive both of them are currently. They don't, they've not seen each other, they don't know what each other's doing. Look at this army. Look at the actual the amount that he's currently got versus what Free had. If he just pushed out now, if Mark had taken this army and pushed across the map, he would have broken down this wall and he would have killed stuff. And I think that at this point, this is where the unfortunate thing happens, where he had a better army, he could have pushed across, he could have broken the bunker, and he probably would have gone in and won then and there. I doesn't say it was guaranteed, but he would have had a good... His best point in this match is right now, like... Fruity has like no marines, he's now getting a tank, he's now getting a medevac, it's like the tech's starting to come out, there's the medevac there, he has got the tank out, sorry, there he is, we look into the production, no, I've done it again, we look into the productions, you can see what he's getting currently, going for, get, almost got 1-1 one, one there, now seeing the armour upgrade go down as well, so currently actually ahead in terms of upgrades until this point, we see the factory coming down, we're going to see tanks coming out, Got the double gas there. We've got them full up here. Yep. There we go. So I got a little turret. Still too many SCVs stood around. That's unfortunate. Seeing the mules being dropped here by Fruity. This is something that I hope that Mark utilizes later on as the orbital command so he can have scans and things like that. We're seeing oh, we've got a couple of medevacs out here now. See like their army now. Still still fairly favourable for Mark because he has a high marauder count, which is good against most of this stuff. We see now the, uh, the bunker being disposed there by Fruity. What else can, is he doing here? Still not... Oh, bit of a transfer there. I assume he's waiting for them to build yet. Getting extra barracks is on, as you can see. Got the armoury down now so he can get these guys. Hellbats, we see these pop out in a bit. We'll see them come fairly soon. Big mistake, I think, that uh, Mark made in this game was splitting up his army and leaving these guys here. It was a bit unfortunate. I think if he put his entire army close out, look at these guys. Like, oh, I just wish he, like, watching this, I just wished that he had attacked because he had a, like, 10 and 11 rulers are fairly powerful. I mean, if you're only smashing down tanks and things that are popping out. And all Fruity's doing is sat back and expanding, and he's not hes not playing aggressive at all if he just got a bit more aggressive. No combat shield, though. Do we see any of these upgrades? Oh, that's so thats so harsh. If he's gone for combat shield and stim as well, or even uh, stim and concussive shell, like, he would have done really, really well in this fight. You see, we're coming up to, like, the eight-minute mark. We're going to see a push out fairly soon with just the one or two tanks. Yeah, just the one tank getting the Hellbats popping out now. A lot of Marines. Now on that third expand. Actually, the we know we've got... I think he's got Stim at this point. No, he's getting Stim, and I think that's when he pushes. There's the, the Hellbat. Another Hellbat coming out. Not not choosing to get uh, Pre-Infernal Niter. Infernal pre I We must get it the right way around. The increased damage is uh, fairly good. So he should have, should have got that. But probably not necessary, as you can see. There's me spamming at the Observer. Pointing to the army there coming out. You will see some stuff coming up in these games where I'm just messing around in terms of being an observer. We see this army come, and first off, bang, like did a good job of that, but now we see the stim come in. His army split up. This is just unfortunate. See, he comes in there, the one tank. They will eventually siege up, I believe. If, he, if these guys here and these guys were just all here, like he would have blitzed that army, and if he'd just gone on attack, he would have won. His army was just so much better, but like, Look, it's just going in drips and drabs and it's just getting wrecked. I think he kills most of this, but you can see how much difference the um, medevacs make and getting shelled by the tank. Bang, and it goes three or four units. It's unfortunate, really, and we see these guys come across. We see more units spreading across the map as well. Very, very disappointing game to watch. It could have gone the other way if, if Mark had literally just pushed out earlier in the game when he had those ten marauders. Like He had a really good army there. But unfortunately, wasn't the case. We see this base go down, and that's really kind of the end of it. Because at this point, 
he's not really building a lot of stuff. We've got a couple of marines coming out there, we've got a marine and a few marauders, but he does have these tanks. Now, this was, this is something else that was frustrating, not seeing these put out by the second base, at least deployed there. Again, would have stopped this. Had a really good sized army. At this point now, we're just seeing lots of marines, medevacs, all this sort of stuff, crossing the map. I'm going to just speed it up from here because at this point, we see these tanks siege up, and they do a fair bit of damage, but to see tanks like that and nothing else to do, like these guys need to be rallied. They need to be rallied here, and these things that Mark will have to obviously learn. And it's just frustrating to watch because he was never out of this game, really. Uh, the entire time you're watching it, he actually had a better, a bigger army. He was always on par with it. It's only now that he's being outmined, as you can see there. Here we go. Tanks firing in. That tank sieges up, and this one should have been sieged. And he'll kill a fair few dudes, but all in all, he's using stim. These aren't using stim. The probably doesn't even have combat shield. Oh, he does have combat shield. So at least he got that eventually. But yeah, that was it. Just wrecked everything. Got a medevac. Didn't use those. Unfortunate game, really. Um, I definitely would have liked to have seen a bit more back and forth there from Mark himself. But such is the way things as it goes in StarCraft. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, we'll be bringing you a few of these. Uh, we're more than likely going to be playing a lot more StarCraft 2 in the future. Hopefully you'll see the game's improvement. Um, and it's not so one-sided like the first game. You're going to see... Uh, I'll win a few. Fruit's going to win a few. And eventually we're going to see Mark winning more games. So it's going to be really good. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.